Hello boys, welcome back to yet another video. I'm back today talking about CAS and how I started my CAS project and it's going to be creating my own feature film. And so I like to get head starts to get gives that heads up for more hours. I'm going to be doing it in the summer because that's the time I have, that's when I have most time. And throughout the year, I've been experimenting at different things. So I did a little bit of stick fighting with my younger brother. I fought with sticks and uh, broomsticks to be specific. And we choreographed a mini, what was it, 14, 15 seconds. And now I'm looking at miniatures. And here's what I'm looking at. Here's what I'm looking at, right? Oh, wow, that's a face and a half. <laughs> I think that was from... There we go. Let's go to here and make it this. Right, right. Here, let's let's look at this. This is Jurassic Park scene. This is the clever, clever girl scene. And what I've heard is, how do you get better at filmmaking? Well, you recreate scenes for movies, and you look how the director did that shot, and you try to learn how he does it, so that when you're making your own film, you can use ways that other directors use when you're making your own film, right? So I chose Clever Girl, right? It's one of my favorite movie scenes. Um, well, there's a lot of action that's happened, so let me just turn my camera off here. Now, I'm going to try breaking it down for you guys. I want to make the most low-budget way to recreate this. I'm going to put it under my cast project, but it's not going to be my actual film that I'm using. Right. Here we go. So what I could use for the beginning here, right? I could find the landscape. Just has a bunch of forest, a bunch of trees. Spray some water on it. You know, get the sound effects. Oh, You know what I'm saying? But make it a lot more convincing. I don't know how we're going to do that. And then have me come here. Costume, I don't think it'll be that hard. Look at the way the camera's moving. I'm thinking there, I could maybe here, 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 I can maybe use a miniature, right? Get a miniature set, get some fake leaves, get some string. It might not be the most efficient, right? Because Markiplier said on the corridor crew, your first project you're going to make, it's going to be terrible. I've made a lot of others before this, but it's still one of my first ones. So maybe I'll be proud of it. I want to try miniatures because I've never really used them. So, attach them to string and shake them up a bit. Right. And then close in on the hat. Not that hard. He sees the raptor. Get a gun. Build a gun. Any way we can do this. Right. Now, I was looking at how could you do fake sweat, right? And apparently, glycerin and water is the cheapest and best way. But then I saw a Film Riot video that said you can use baby oil and spray. And then if you want to like show the body, just put Vaseline to make it shiny and spray water on that or put baby oil on that. That's one of my favorite shots. Close in. This could be a miniature that's rotoscoped in. Now, I may sound like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I probably don't, because I've never actually done anything to do with film. I'm just stealing, literally, video ideas from Corridor right now. But Maybe it could work. I think this could be a good, good miniature, right? And then, remove it again. Clever girl. Clever girl, right? It's standing from the back. Camera's a bit under. And she's killing him, right? And then I get... I could just, like, build this. Getting off of miniatures. They did animatronics, right? What's... What's what's bugging me, right, is these dinosaurs... I'm gonna get them to move. So, that'd be tough, right? And it's only a minute. Right, so it's not that big a scene. We can maybe CGI them. Then again, I don't know how to do that. 
But that's what I'm planning to do. I went in the garden yesterday, actually, and I got some miniature photos, or tried to at least. A lot of them are out of focus because I couldn't get them in focus. My pro my best, my best ones are probably, probably no, not these. These are too bright. You can notice that they're flash. It's camera flash. That one's a that one's. I say this one's one of my best ones right here. Oh, let me activate my camera again. Hey, I'm back. Make myself bigger. So don't want to take up too much room. But I think this one, I think that's one of my best ones so far, and that still looks very bad because you get these these images right here right and they they're so life-size compared to that freaking mini dinosaur right the tree that's huge dude this is a brachiosaur i like that so that again uh doesn't make sense i think this one was another good one also, in terms of miniature size, the photo photography, but again, everything around it is so obscure. Look at this leaf. It's huge compared to that dinosaur. It's the size of a dinosaur. Looking at the clip, actually, there's a lot of times when you see the dinosaur is the size of the leaf. Right? Right, but to, to see this one is here. It is massive, dude. It is massive here. So I think that's not good either. The best image I got was has had to be this one, right? This was surprisingly. Thank you so much. This was surprisingly filmed in the dark, and it had a, a light right here, and it was flashing down. So what it looks like, actually, coincidentally, is the sun coming in from leaves, and they're reflecting everywhere and they're shadowing the dinosaur and different elements if this was a little bit smaller and this was a little bit smaller this leaf here this would have turned out fine fine i say fine i don't say it would have been good no, it would turn out fine i like the way the angle i had to i think when the camera is under the actual object it works a lot better uh anyways 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 Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll update with the cast link. If you need any cast ideas, remember, email me. ibguru47 at gmail.com. ibguru, because self-explanatory, I'm the IB guru. Maybe not so much. And then 47, because uh, after the 47 Ronin, I wanted to, you know, be a warrior like them. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Peace.